Hey guys, welcome to Rustboro City. I'm gonna lower this down on my totally real GameCube. I know I've made this pun before. Actually, so I have a bit of a plan, but now I realized I have a repel because I got it from, um, oh yeah, off, off screen. Let me just jump right into it. Um, Pokemon wise, I did train up for some of the teams, so it's not like as much of a wash as it could be. So yeah, I don't really have a plan right now. My plan is just to go... One of these guys has Cut, I think, but I'm not sure which one. <laughs> All I know is that Cut is somewhere in this city, but I'm not sure. Although I think this dude gives me a Premier Ball, right? Or this lady? I think so. Team President Sun Elkler Stones, no. Okay, never mind. This might have been a waste of time. Well, not a waste of time, because I mean... Okay, I'm going to just... So I didn't really show it off during Platinum much, but... I think it's for the Corporation. You, oh, he made a Premier Ball. Okay, little child. I don't know. I thought it was a lady that gave that to me. Uh, that was teaming the company. So... How to describe this? Because in replaying it, I don't know if how crazy over Sinnoh I am. But, oh, uh, let's leave her skitty. I do remember this, though. They don't corporate so this building. I wish I knew that before I ran in here. Okay, one of you is a cut man. Cutters out. <sighs> okay, my bad. Next question, the more you move. Are you well to train Pokemon? You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell it's just by looking at you. You should put this hidden machine to good use. Don't even be monster shy. Go, take it. Yeah, let's go, HMO1. Put that in my pocket. It's for cut. Pokemon you use me outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's kind of chopped down trees at the trainers are in stone badge. I don't like it. TM and HM can be used more than once. Whoa, science. All right, yeah, Trainer School, we already kind of did that. So, screen, Trainer School kind of became Tutorial Land, but I felt like when I was in Sinnoh, a lot of it was just tutorials. Uh, time saving Sun only are complete, so it's just a sign, but there's also a big X splash across it in red paint. Which, hey, I like the little lore building and how when it's like, it feels a lot more lived in when it's like, yeah, it's a sign, but it's smeared. And also, there's talking about co corporations, which makes sense, because housing. Oh, it's you. You're a fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. It's giving them the evidence back. If I don't, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay. Route 1 6. So, importantly, it is a brand new route. Except there is one thing that's here that I do not want to deal with. And that is the possibility of running into a Wismer here. And by running, oh, it's a Wismer. Oh, hey, another repel. Who cares? Like, yeah, you can just. It's a, not the best encounter, but I mean, like, you'll get other ones later. And that's the twist, sir. Um, there are, there's like a guaranteed Wismer encounter in a cave, like, right next to me. So I want to get that first, then catch the suffers on this route. Because that'd be pretty lame. Now, training-wise, I think it's expected you go here before you take on Candus. But I'm just too cool for school. So that didn't happen. Not very effective. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to be taking out this guy and his Wurmples. I think you can get Ninkatas and Skitties here. Which are pretty cool, and also Wismers. <laughs> Hoenn hat seems, at least from my recollection, I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, tell me, because I don't care. But, <laughs> um, like, Hoenn has a lot of routes. I don't know, I feel like there is a, it is a big region. But it's like the land regions, there's a lot of Pokemon everywhere. So it's not like Sinnoh, where effectively... Once I was just going through each route and doing all the side quests, I had, like, guaranteed encounters a bunch. This one, no. No, sorry. I studied at school and I studied the way home, too. Aw. Look at this smart girl learning and reading books. Who taught you to learn how to read? Tell me. Karen? Oh, who named this child Karen? You know what? This was 2002 or whatever this game came out. I don't know when Ruby and Sapphire came out. I assume the dialogue is the same. But... Man, that sure did age badly. <laughs> Ugh. Man, Karens are a menace. Okay. Shadow, I don't know why you're not doing the crazy damage. I guess you're only four levels more, but still. Crit super effective? Eh. Well, Shadow's get, she'll get good eventually. Or he'll get good. I'm shocked I'm lost. I don't know, I just think Dustock's female because the female voice actor is female. Anyways, double battle time. We're gonna do one or the other. Tell us cut you... Doesn't go through that be over the top. Dead end up there. I'm bored, so can we battle? I mean, sure, kiddo. Why not, my dude? I'm fine. I'm battling you. And also this big, scary 
hiker man for the geo dude shout out persephone okay persephone probably isn't the best choice here so they're gonna probably attack them and i'm gonna switch to aqua although i think peko yama might have been a good pick too but yeah okay oof sun's oh, fucking hell i'm doing this again well good thing i have other pokemon trained but i i really do not enjoy <laughs> paralyze you know like okay so here's my thing with most pokemon games or honestly any rpg in general if there is a way that i can hit with status condition it will proc every turn no matter what it is poison paralysis i don't know a persona like fear or the missing one and like golden sun whatever the debuffs were i don't fucking remember but like yeah it's just a pain in my ass and it happens every time so guess we're doing this again at least i have another pokemon the cool thing with shadow though is she did when they leveled up they did get psychic which you know is i mean confusion which is psychic type move which is very good against the next trim that we're coming up against so i'll be doing my best and ironically it will be an easy gym anyways because okay so they they have this one fucking what's it called meditite or some shit yeah meditite and only knows a move that takes two turns but if you hit it during the other turn it just flinches and stops <laughs> that leaves me tired so it should be a wash broly's cool though i got no complaints all right i guess i know you're level 14 but i think i'll switch to pakayama at least for now because i need to fight this man we'll rock you hard i mean i'm rock hard if that makes any difference oh okay hiker devon next to devon corp geodude yeah okay so this is the first episode i'm recording since i've made the overlays and uploaded the videos because you know i do things slowly <laughs> and i will say i forgot it, i caught back on my premiere ball until like the day of so i'm creating the form and i'm like wait it's got a premiere ball fuck let me change the background to a premiere ball and make sure it's the right canvas size so that was fun also like all the pokemon i got i didn't have from the last playthrough i did get a wingle i never used but i used it for like a thumbnail so yeah oh i need to actually teach someone cut um who's gonna cut a bitch honestly probably persephone they seem like a good choice for cut yeah because i'm not gonna be using them only t okay i'm sorry my boy oh eh, well i'm not too sorry goodbye tackle all right there we go and then cut this tree down i just want to burn it a bit so i can like get these repels off now it's like soul and luna but all in one repulse effect wore off thank god okay side quest gone through this cave i go hey old dude oh what am i to do we were on our walk pico and i were jumping by not doug the schedule made fun of my darling pico. <laughs> pico i'm a voice actor i'm just kidding imagine if i was a voice actor that'd be so cringe hey wismer how you doing girl pain you look like you're in pain i'm just gonna assume you're in pain because oh you you do look like it now fortunately you're a normal type which i realized the one pokemon i didn't level was lotad and lotad can do literally nothing okay i'm gonna punch you and hope you don't crit me worst case it's persephone i'm not too married to this pokemon ow and he, oh you calm down okay never mind all right let's throw some balls at this little dude um where are my balls yeah you're you're not worth a great ball into the ball you go wismer one 
Oh, I fear it's gonna be hot. Come on. <gasps> Are you serious? Whismer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Or gal? Did I seriously just lose a Pokemon already? <laughs> I just wanted to be your friend. Okay. Freaking serial killer Whismer. Alright. No. Uproar. Alright, you're a problem. You are a problem that I might need to take out. But I don't have Pokemon that can weaken you up. So... I don't even have any, like, any status moves. Go, great ball, I guess. I mean, he does not have a hair catch, right? What the fuck, game? Shoot, it was close. Um, okay, this Whismur is going to be the death of me. Great, you calm down. Take your goddamn chill pill. Don't even have any po moves that, like, do anything to it. No, summaries. I need summaries. I don't have... Supersonic confuses, which can hurt it. Zigzag can probably kill. Harden, no. You're dead. Oh my god, Persephone, are you serious? It took me how many parts last time? I was literally halfway through the game or something before I lost my first Pokemon and Platinum. And this one just fucking dies? Okay. I guess Poochiana just wasn't strong enough. But what the fuck? He was like twice the dude's level. Okay, Wismer, get in the fucking ball, you insane bitch. Jesus Christ. The Whisper Pokemon is quite equal to jet plane and volume, and it hails through its ear canals. Because of the system, it can quite continuously without having to catch its breath. Yes, you are. Um, what do I name you? You really went down without a trick. Fight. Well. Um, well, I guess if you kill Persephone, should I name you Demeter? I don't- is that how the- I think Demeter was her mom. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing that wrong. But, yeah. <laughs> Demeter was transferred to PC box. I need to name that box. Okay, found one Pokeball. Yay. Okay, Team Aqua Grunt. There's literally nothing you can do. I think he has a. We're gonna let let's have T have a bit of moment time to shine. Where where do you where do you coming come and get some then? Well, after this battle, these serial killer Whismers. No, we you gotta go. You've caused a problem today, sir. Like holy shit, Whismer! What the fuck, my dude? Grog, key hauled it all. The hostage and Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And then the guy made a getaway in this tunnel of nowhere. Hey, you, you still don't battle me? Yeah, Team Aqua. Okay, I don't think I actually mentioned it while I was fighting it. Fighting th this one at all last time. But I love Team Aqua. Because they're so inconsequential and have such a dumb plot. Like, okay, I guess I just didn't... I guess I just didn't like Sinnoh that much. But they were so, like edgelordy and tough and like they were just it was like campy but not a fun type of campy it was just like <laughs> we're gonna kill them all with our stupid haircuts possibly if you sleep an easy job to pull why is there still some stupid package in my back that barely take it Tina Devon goods okay just you and me Pico oh damn it this old man's back Pico I'm glad to see you are safe Pico it's a life to you they call me Mr. Briny and you are? Ah, so you're a Pandora. I simply thank you. If there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petable the Woods. Come, Pico, we shall make our way home. Pio! Dude. I lost... <laughs> I... My dog's dead because of your little adventure in a cave. And it wasn't even Satim Aqua. God damn. This Wismer feels like it should be the villain. I want my encounter. So I can, Tina, burn through this. Come on. How was it that hard to get an encounter in there? You know, I know I'm playing with Dupes Claws. So unfortunately I can't get this Poochiana. But 
You know, I'm not gonna lie, Emerald. That that's a real shit move, dude. Do not. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, Abra. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really? Abra? Okay. This is a problem, because T teleports away immediately. And I don't have a way to lock him in. Alright. YOLO. If not, then yeah. This is just a bad encounter. One. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Well. This is a terrible day. This had... This rat has cool Pokemon on it, too. I could have gotten Ninkata or Skitty. Or a little shit lord like you. I... Man. I should have named you Pumbloom. I can't go on. We'll check them out. That's just a weird reference. Okay. So... You know, this is a little yikes now I think about it. Like, in retrospect, knowing who we became. When I... I think one of the first... So when Game Grumps originally came out, I watched it, and they had a Pokemon Emerald Let's Play that lasted for, I don't know, like, 13 parts. I never really particularly watched it, because Pokemon content is a little formulaic. Like, I try to do my best, but, like, it's still an RPG at heart, so, you know, I try. But <laughs> I just remember them breaking down, calling Wizmer Pumbloom, and that Ash caught a Pumbloom, and I think that was the, one of the first animatics on that YouTube page. And eventually I dropped off when John left, like during Sonic 06. And now realizing the person that John Tron became, I'm like, well, was that, does that mean I'm a bad person? <laughs> was that dramatic foreshadowing the worst way possible? Oh, how'd it go? My dog's dead. Yay, another great ball. This makes up for the, a for the Abra and shit. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. Our person's office is in this floor. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, if that policy got to us, can you still ever set out Shipyard in Slateport? It'd be awful if this robber tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, can I count on you for that for me? Oh, that's right. Wait here a second. I'm not given much of a choice here, my dude. Oh, you're back already. Okay. President Lightfoot, have a word with you. Please come with me. <laughs> Mr. President Obama? Or Biden? It's Biden himself. I'm Joe Biden, the president of Desim Corporation. Got a word about you. You say their staff just well, n not just once, but twice. Favorite ask of an amazing person like you. I understand you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. I didn't agree to that. But on the way, can you stop off in Duper Town? I'm hoping you can deliver to Split. Damn it. Oh, so let me deliver a letter to Stephen and Duford. Tain the letter. Yay. Pandora put away the letter. Now, you should know that I'm a great president, so I should never be cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I only have this. A Poké Nav. Okay, cool. That device, Pokemon Navigator, Pokemon Nav for short. It's a tool for any trader or adventure. It's a map of the Hoenn region. You can check their location, Stuford and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that the sinister criminals, Magma Aqua, believe in Mimit, you can travel far and wide. It'd be best if you re rested up before you were on your way. Oh, cool. I didn't know he did that. Well then, Pandora, go to Caution to Care. Okay, that's pretty sweet of them, actually. But yeah, hey, this is how the plot starts. It's Devoncore time. One of you fuckers has a cool line of dialogue. Um, yeah, the Pokenab can be the first of all to learn about feelings of Pokemon. No, I don't. I don't need the tutorial. One of you guys has something cool though. Re visually reintroduced the dreams of Pokemon. It's not going well. Um, I don't know if it's ever happened something in Gen Five with Fennel in the Dream World, which is a discontinued thing, like a browser game that you connect your DS with. But I mean. For the time, like, that was pretty cool foreshadowing. And also how you got, like, hidden abilities, I believe. Then you add a future Pokemon out. It turned out great. Pandora, may I see the Pokemon out that one present gave you? There you go, Pandora. And it's a new feature called Match Call Your Pokemon. Using Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in Pokemon out. Pandora, our president of Stone should be registered in Pokemon out. Test it out. Give a president a call. No, fine. Uh. <laughs> okay. Match Call... Yo, Devin. Oh, Pandora. Since you called me the Pokemon, I'm just working properly. People will be registered. Try going them up, too. Good, good. You seem quite happy. Hmm, how can I know that? Because I'm looking at you from the office window. <laughs> See you again. Okay, a bit of a somewhere. Take care, Pandora. But hey, yeah, continuity is a big building, and you know. I don't know. I just love the little dialogue like this. This game has such cute writing. Anyways, time to the funeral home. I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm like... <laughs> I don't know what to think. Okay. Name? Okay. Uh, I guess it'll just be the... The dead box. And you can be... Um... Name... Gay baby jail. I don't know. Um... Yeah... You know what, just sent to... You know, I... Okay. Actually, no, your names are gonna be... This box, you're gonna be sent as a tribute. Like, Prince Marth and Fe1. Tributes. Okay. Um, well... Persephone? This was the shortest ride ever. Like... Okay. You were my first count encounter, I believe. Or my second one of them. Doesn't say where I caught you guys. What? 103. Okay. But man, that was weird. Demeter, you son of a bitch. You've, you've already gotten something on your kill count and I haven't even used you yet. Maybe it's good I caught you. I can contain your power slightly. Alright. Oh hey, optional trainer battle. Oh, hey, Pinor. Get a match called Peach or Pokenaf. Cool. Let's show each other. Yeah, I got Brendan on my phone. By the way, one of... I walked by Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. Bet he was on his way home to this cottage by the sea. Pinor, how's your Pokedex? Are you filling pages yet? Mine rules. I have a battle test how far he progressed. I just became a trainer, but I won't go that easy. I mean, you could say I'm a pretty cool trainer if I don't... Don't want to toot my own horn, though. Hey, Wingle. I have one of those fuckers. This is my Zigzagoon, though, and he's gonna whoop your ass. Ow. Okay, that hurt more than I thought, but... Oh, no, not Growl. Oh, no, not Growl. Everyone's least favorite move. Okay. So maybe it is a problem. <laughs> maybe it is. Fine. You've got me there. Ow. Um, confusion. Shadow use confusion. Chaos control. Okay. So with this quickly background, I know it's just supposed to be like psychic damage, like think like an earth ground background. Trico. Yeah, I have Gus now. But I think, <laughs> I don't know why. This popped up my recommendations even though I haven't watched it in ages. But it was that one video from, um, it's Fireman Pack called The Last Promise. And it's, Kellek, one of the characters saying, you Divisian Knights, how much weight can you handle? And instead of, like, showing a background, it's like a tomato soup magic. It's, it's like a wow. <laughs> they just all die one by one. It's a weird, like, fuck, like psychedelic background, and that's just what came to my mind, apparently. By the way, you know about Mr. Brian, the guy passed? But you didn't, since you just moved here, Pandora, but Mr. Brian was a great sailor. Okay, bye. <laughs> you know, that's a pretty weird way to end the conversation. Also, did I get the Pokeball over here? I don't remember. No, I did not. Wow. <laughs> One X defend. I was in and out of Rustboro. But you know what? It's a pretty cool city, and I like it. Alright. Um, by the way, you must be a trainer, no? Yeah, I didn't really grow the berries, did I? Whoops. I can. So, cool thing about backtracking in this game. Is going to make it slightly dynamic, because even if you're going through the same routes, you're going to really be using cut for this one part of the game, and that's about it. Do, 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 do. Because, hey, I'm going to go down. Actually, we go to the part... Don't you get a berry every single day if you go here? I haven't played in a little bit, so... Yo, I want a berry, chick. I'm trying to be like this. Go to flowers, too. Here you go, what's for you? Lepa... Yeah! Hey, apple! Got a berry. You can plant a berry and grow big. Yo, Big Berry. Oh my god. Okay, so fun story. So, when I was originally playing Phoenix Wright, Justice for All, there, the circus, um, yeah, the circus chapter is called, it's like Berry Big Circus. But my mind, I guess, autocorrected it to Big Berry Circus. And I was simply never contested on it. So I called it the Big Berry Circus for an embarrassingly long amount of time. Enough so that I beat the case... And I completely was like, okay, Big Berry Circus. And then they make a reference to it near the end of the game. 
And it's like, what do you mean that's not the real name of it? Oh, neat. That's a batch of us for a gym. You have to be a trainer. I'll take some seeds. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the miracle grow, my dude. I need to go up there for an item. Okay. But, yeah. I, anyways, I go to the very end of the game. I just another fucking Cascoon. Do I only encounter Cascoons here when I record? This is my grinding area. And it was like Wurmples and Slack Offs and shit. And now I face a Pokemon that can't fight back. Anyways, back to my story. I realize, like, my my ice is like, very big circus? What the hell? And, like, is this a typo? So I beat the game. So I don't have to deal with spoilers. And no, it's just always been called very big circus. I just refuse to call it that. And my mind autocorrected it once, and then did it again. Meanwhile, it's repeated a bajillion times during the circus case, so I guess I was just dumb. Which, you know, considering that I lost a Pokemon already in this Nuzlocke, I mean, I guess that's more indicative of my intelligence level and not of me, like, not reading properly. <laughs> I guess these are the... When I take dumb risks, I get dumb rewards, and I guess losing Poochiena was one of my dumb rewards. I wish I didn't... At least got that Abra, though. Or Skitty. I love Skitty. It's not a good Pokemon, but I just love Skitty. Hey, Chick. Hey, you're a thief. You're a thief. You try to steal this Pokemon. You Pokemon is the only wild Pokemon. That is true. I'll throw it. I'll shut it off. Um, Maybe in the next... Maybe the next gym? Because right now... Hey, look. It's the guy that we saved last time. What's your name, Briny? Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Seriously. Freezing time. Hmm. You're a Pandora. You say my darling, Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to stay with me? <laughs> we'll let her bound from Doofin' a package for Sleepboard, then. Quite the busy life you must lead, but certainly, we're asking is no problem at all. Comes to the right man, we'll set sail for Doofin'. Doofin' it is, then. Anchors away, Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Yeah, this theme, I like it, too. You don't really get to hear much of it, because the boat's temporary. I guess he just vanished off the face of the earth at some point in the game. But yeah, I love the sailing, sailing theme, it's so beautiful. Beep. Oh, Pandora? Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. <laughs> you ever hear just someone, like, you're calling them in their car, and you just sound like they're in, like, a vortex or something? But the red stone car you're poking out, so I decided to give you a call. So you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Wow, Dad, at least you're calling. You, at least you care a little bit about this family. Dad Norman. This would make a good ringtone, honestly. And to Duford Town. Ahoy, we went and landed in Duford Town. You don't have to know that letter to who was it now, Steven? How much are you listening in, man? What the hell? Don't eavesdrop. This is where I'm fishing spot. You didn't get fish? Here. I think what you're saying. Give me one of my fishing rods. Yeah, let's get this man's rod. As an uh, added bonus, let me throw a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull them the rod. So you can sit snag a bite immediately when there's something bigger catches. You need time to pull in your rod. I get it, dude. I know how to play with my rod. I'm an adult. Ignore the fact that I'm currently playing as a pre BSM girl. But listen, I know I know about pulling rods all the time. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we get a bite. No. Okay. So I might have lost one of my good Pokemon. But you know what this game said? You know what? Let's get more water types. This game is all about water types. Which makes sense. I mean, the crux of the story is that it's a balance of land and water. Magikarp, in the sand. I mean, I guess we're on a beach, but like... I guess I'll take it. Are you a normal... Okay, Lillian. Time to be useful. Weaken this fucker up for me, dude. Ma'am. Okay. So, Astonish. This is good. This is going well. Okay, it's just regular normal type. Alright. I don't think his catch rate is, like, stupid. But I at least want to weaken up a little bit. You know, it's it's dumb that I'm doing this. But, hey. At least we're using Lotad, Lotad fans. I like Lotad. I just have, currently, frankly, too many um, water types. So, this'll do. Astonish this dude. Astonish him one more time. And we'll be good, I think. I didn't use Magikarp last run. 
I didn't like evolve him, but that was it, and that was like for one thing, and I never used him again. Pokeball, you go. All right. Um, this should catch, I think, right? Gotcha. Magikarp was magic caught. All right. Um, which we call it? Fish Pokemon. I think it was just a fish Pokemon. You know what? Your name, <laughs> as it's been told, where's F? Okay. You're just gonna be flop. Into the flop PC you go. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think Lillian could just take on the gym. I'm gonna just see what happens. If no, then... If not, then I guess we'll just do it later, but like... I mean, I can always switch in um, Aqua, but I feel like I can just whoop Brawly's ass right now. And you know what? I'm gonna attempt fate. Worst case, I die. Yeah. We rest up my Pokemon. I get it, Nurse Joy. I totally wasn't looked down at my phone for a second. Okay. Pokemon... Or actually... Let me throw an orange berry on you, just in case things go south. Not like they will, but just in case. Or actually... Um, yeah. Okay. Give this to Shadow. It's not a fourth Chaos Emerald, but we'll do, we'll do what you have to do. Anyways. Hey, Brawly, I want the Flash HM. Um, going against a normal type Pokemon, yeah. We have them. But we're simply not going to use them. Also, yeah, I guess this... I don't know why this gym uses Flash as its gimmick, but it does. So, yeah. I'm just going to walk in near blind darkness and hit every single dead end, I guess. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. I mean, it kind of is your fault if we cry. Valgar Lara. So, unfortunately... I don't have an answer because these are psychic, um, whatchamacallit, fighting types. So my confusion strats are going to just solo this. But instead, what will solo this? Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? Okay. Never mind, Pekayama. It's your time to shine, my girl. My dude. I just realized the character is female, but the bird is male. Okay, wing attack? How much damage does this do? Enough. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll do this gym later, and I'll actually do things in order. Maybe I'll just do that. I'm gonna do that. Because <laughs> I'm... I'm not above running behind on my tail, behind my legs, or whatever that phrase is. But I will try using repels real quick to establish a bit of a... Mm, how do I say this? Rigging? Again? If I don't get rigged into a shitty Abra. Oh, Fisherman Man. People do if they need to go to the washroom. My rod... Well, my rod hooks a big one. I mean, you want your rod to always be a big one. Oh, okay. Fisherman Ned, sense of cruel, sense of cool. He is a poison type though, so I think this is effective. Cause I'm a poison type, now it's affecting it's me. Yeah. Okay. Shadow, you're not as strong as I thought you were. I'm gonna omit that right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wish your attack stats were better right now, but I don't think I'm getting anything out of this. <laughs> you kind of suck a little bit, Shadow, and I'm sad to say that. Cause you're cool. Just don't hurt yourself in confusion, please. Damn it. Wait, sing? Okay. Oh god, I'm not confident. Shadow? Shadow. I'm not doing this today. You're taking out this type whether you want to or not. Okay. Thank god. You know how I mentioned earlier that I get hit with every every status move under the sun and it's gonna proc each time? That's gonna happen a lot, I assume. Level 15. Please get something good. No. It's because I'm trying to get to the washroom. I'm trying not to ship myself, that's why I lost. <laughs> Oh, another fisherman, okay. Which pokemon do you prefer? Fishing in the sink 
in the sea or on a stream? Um, don't ask me. I've only fished in the sea for a fish. For one flop to end all flops. Speaking of, hey flop. Okay. That was, that was also not Canada's best moment when they created hey flop. CDR, uh, that was, that was okay. It wasn't no sorry about it. Magikarp, okay. Keep doing your thing. We love you, Magikarp. Keep keep doing you. Okay. Oh, this fucker's got a lot of these. Tentacle? Okay. At least I'm effective against this one. And I'm almost 10 levels higher, so I hope it's a one-shot. Close enough. Okay. Okay, that's good. That is great, even. I have... I need to check whatever your... Actually, I'm not going to remember what your nature is, because I don't know what the nature chart is. But I'm sure I got, like, the worst possible dust tox imaginable. Yay, more. More of these fuckers. I wish I had a grass type. Somehow, I went through the woods area and didn't get a grass type. Instead, all I got this bug, what doesn't even know any bug moves. Yeah, my Pokemon selection is weird. I have so many... I have so many water types. I don't know what to do with them. All right, goodbye, sir. I didn't even get stab on confusion. I just learned it because I guess why not? Fishing greats, but so is battling. Can you don't mind? Can we meet again? Um, I don't know why I got this man's phone number, but okay. All right, you need to get out of the way, Pico. Get your ass here, and um, repel. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of these guys because I want to rig getting one of my favorite Pokemon. That I don't see in many games. Hey, you, we got this like dark ahead. It'll be tough to try to explore. You came by earlier, Steve, I think it was. You use Flash, so that'd be alright, but. Over Psychers. Helping out those who need his motto. Here, I'll pass this to you. I guess thanks, my guy? I'm not sure. You have any move with Flash Pokemon to use it. Let's see the inky darkness of cakes, but to use it, you need a gym badge from Dufort's Pokemon Gym. Eh, well, we'll do that later. One escape rope. Yeah. So, this is actually like a mini dungeon of sorts. Um, but don't. I think there's. Isn't there some way to like cheese this and get. It is. Okay. But there is like a Steven room that was super like expanded on in Oras or something. But I don't remember. I think. Okay, going up, I assume. Please. <gasps> yes! Yes! My boy! My little baby. My little Aaron. Okay. I wanted one of these guys. Mainly just because I like him. No other... <laughs> no other explanation needed. I'm going to supersonic him, though. No, I missed. Okay. Headbutt. It's going to do a lot of damage. Crit. What's up all these Pokemon trying to kill my Pokemon? The hell? Okay. So I wanted, I want Aaron, because I like Aaron. End of statement. And I think that's valid. Because I just like my little baby. Look at him. He's so cute. He has such sky high defense too. But I don't care. I feel like I should weaken him up a bit though, but I'm not sure how. That'd be nice. Okay. One, two, three, catch. All right. Nice. Aaron was caught. Nice. Okay, my little baby. Pokemon is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor I salvaged from metal for, me for making iron products. Alright. So if I have Aqua, then of course, I know the genders are swapped. Honestly, at this point, I don't care. You are going to be Terra. And also, hey, discarded armor. That's a Kingdom Hearts thing. Sadly, he does not have the fat ass that... Um, Kingdom Hearts Terra does. And I realize I am lost in this cave with no way to get out of here. Okay. I, I, getting another Abra does kind of scare me because this could have been, could have been another lame encounter where I just don't get nothing. Anyways, I think time clock wise, am I due? Okay, I'm more than due. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, everyone.